<laughs> Mia, what's okay. the difference between reality and augmented reality? Um, I have no idea. I don't either, but Grant <laughs> is our tech guru and he has all the details. Augmented reality is a way of overlaying digital information over the real world to make it cooler. And it's not something that just concerns gamers anymore. It is a game changer for business, for sports, and for social media, just to name a few things. Of course, all this is just the beginning. Over the next few years, augmented reality will change not only the way you use your phone, but also the way you see and interact with the world. And thanks to Telcom, South Africa will be very much a part of that change. We have Sean Wilson, business owner and forerunner of augmented reality in South Africa, in studio. Welcome to the show, Sean. Thanks for being here. Now, Sean, how, what is augmented reality in layman's terms? Well, as you said, augmented reality is simply just overlaying digital information over the real world using your cell phone camera or alternative alternatively wearable technology like your Samsung Gear 3 or alternatively Google Glass if you can afford it. Give us an example of how this is being used in the real world. So currently if you look at uh, around the world and in South Africa particularly, people are utilizing augmented reality in the retail sector mostly. So for instance, if you want to try on a pair of sunglasses, instead of now having to go browse through hundreds and hundreds, you literally just stand in front of a terminal, virtually try them on, or alternatively you can try on your latest shoes, tops, jackets, whatever you want. So that's a great way in the retail sector. If you look at if you're a big traveler, around the world there's an app called World Lens that'll allow you to go around Europe, Spain, or wherever you want and literally translate road signs in real time in your native language. That's incredible. I love using that stuff every day. Now, how is it going to be used in the near future? Well, if you are aware of Google Glass and wearable technology, that's where the future of augmented reality is going because at the end of the day, you don't want to have to take out your cell phone in order to engage with digital content. So now, with Google Glass or wearable technology, it will digitally overlay what's in your area. So if you're walking down Long Street, for instance, it will virtually pop up and tell you what specials <laughs> are on or alternatively what you can do in the area. So that's where augmented reality is going now. Um, in five to ten years, if you look at the way which Google is moving out, they've partnered now with companies that develop contact lenses. So gone are the ways of hardware, you'll actually physically have a pair of contact lenses, lenses that you put in and you'll now be able to overlay digital information. I'm really excited about that. I wear glasses and contact lenses, so that gets me hyped. Now, a lot of people are naturally concerned about this kind of technology. There are cameras on our faces and we're walking around the streets with them in the near future and they're going to be ubiquitous. How, what, what is your response to people who, uh, who have these concerns? Well, look, it's like with any new technology, there's always concerns. So if you look at the way Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter have exploded off the last several years, it's purely because people want to be exhibitionists and they want their 15 kilobits of fame. So if that is a concern, unfortunately, it's not a valid concern because every technology has always had this. What we could look at doing is the way facial recognition has improved over the last several years is where people could sign up for a service, include their face, and this would then allow them to disassociate themselves with any AR or VR application. Well, a solution like that is really in need, and I really hope that we get around it because I'm excited about augmented reality. Thank you so much for joining us in studio. Sean, if you'd like to get connected and stay in touch with everything that's happening in the world of technology, log on to www.telcom.co.za, call 10213, or visit your nearest telecom shop. Turn your house into a connected home for only $3.99 per month. From SA's best fixed and mobile broadband network, call 10213 or go to a telecom shop. Thank you so much, Grant. Augmented reality. Now we know exactly what that is. But